Hello and welcome to Joy, our Advent series at Cross Point. This is day three, and I'm Bruce, and I'm so delighted to be able to share with you today a little bit of what the Scripture says in Hebrews chapter 13, verses 20 and 21, as we talk about drawing near to the Savior. I'd like to read these verses, and then we're going to talk a little bit about how these verses apply to us as believers and how we have the opportunity to connect with our high priest on a daily basis. Let's look now at Hebrews chapter 13, verses 20 and 21. Now may God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good, that you may do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, there's a lot packed in these two little verses. First of all, as we look at the book of Hebrews, we really don't know who the author of this book is. There's a lot of speculation about that. Unfortunately, that's not the most important thing in this scripture today. However, what is important is how we have the privilege to draw near to our Savior. In this season of joy, what is it that brings you joy in this Christmas season, in this Advent season? One of the things that brings me joy is to share this passage today. As we look at, in verse 21, the writer says, he's doing this through Jesus Christ. Wow. That means Jesus has purchased this grace for us by his death on the cross. And Jesus prays and asks the Father for that on the basis of his death. I don't know about you, but my salvation is a personal experience. When I was a seven-year-old boy, I asked Jesus to come into my life and be my Savior and I have attempted to live for him every day of my life. But you know, the best thing about all of that is that Jesus intercedes for me every day of my life. The writer here tells us that drawing near to God is what qualifies us for this eternal saving work of our high priest. Jesus gives us the privilege to call on him every time we speak his name as our high priest. We don't have to go to the church. We don't have to go to the pastor. We don't have to go to the Pope. We just call on Jesus right here, right now. He intercedes for us. That's what he's talking about when he looks there in verse 21 when he says, through Jesus Christ. And as we think about Jesus interceding for us, He interceded for us when he was on his own on the earth. And then after his death and resurrection, he uh, ascended to heaven with God and he continues to intercede for us. And that causes our faith not to fail. The verse here says that he was confident in his prayer. And he says, he told Peter, he said, when you have turned again, not if you turn again. So as believers, we have the privilege when we turn again to him each day. And that gives us security, that gives us hope, and that gives us assurance. So if you've ever wondered, you know, where can I get the assurance for my salvation? It comes from Jesus, and we have access to him all the time. In this Advent season, I pray that you would draw near to your Savior every day. As you think, as you pray, as you work, as you live, draw near to him. This is an invitation that he gives us. Draw near to your high priest and draw near to him in your confession. Draw near to him in your prayer, your meditation, your trust, and your praise. Christ 
makes intercession for us. Would you pray with me right now? Lord Jesus, what a privilege it is to call on your name. Thank you for dying for my sins. Thank you for interceding for me. Thank you for interceding for every believer in Jesus Christ. And God, thank you for this special Advent season, which brings so much joy into our lives because of the birth of a Savior who lived a life on our behalf so that we could know for sure. For those of us that know Jesus as our Savior, when we die, we are going to heaven. Thank you for this special time and for the opportunity to talk about you and celebrate you, our Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow on day four.